And what can you share a bit more about what is Territora? Like what first, like what is the company? What's the vision of the company? What is it? They develop develop also a product for verification. So tell us a bit about Certora. Before we dive deep into like what you are doing specific, specifically there, let's um, help our viewers understand what is Certora. Yeah. Sotora is actually one of the big names. I believe the first time I read about Sotora, um, yeah, it was through Securium because they had some uh, formal verification races and cares to, to make you learn about uh, their, their prover. They have a lot of training about uh, training videos and uh, resources about formal verification, but um, they are mainly a tooling company. They have their Sotora prover which enables uh, formal verification. Uh, it would be a little complicated to, to say what formal verification is com compared to, to fuzzing, but let's say it's more powerful, but also more resource consuming. Um, so it really makes yeah, sure. I remember, I will try to explain it in one sentence. This is how when uh, Gershon and I, Gershon is the co-founder that founded with me Ginger Security, he was trying to help, he learned about formal verification and tried to explain it in my sentence. He told me, imagine you take the code, basically the, the Solidity code or Cairo code, doesn't matter. And for every function or even like functionality, you make some kind of mathematical equation exactly. that represents this function. Exactly. And then you use this mathematical equ uh, equ equation in order to prove something right or wrong. So you basically, fuzz, instead of fuzzing the code directly and running like tests and, and throwing different inputs uh, and variants into the, to the function, you try to convert it into a math formula and then on, you, you test this math formula instead of the code itself. Exactly, and uh, there are a lot of um, logic behind it because uh, you sometimes you make some assumptions, some under assumptions, over assumptions, something that are reachable, not reachable, some preconditions, but conditions, lots of things to to. Well, it, it does also train you in terms of thinking about the code differently. Uh, what should be happening? Really like the, the training. It also, I, I believe, makes you a better auditor. Some somehow, uh, it would help you also write better tests. Um, so some people can uh, imagine it and do this uh, by head. Uh, they could do it uh, like with a pen and paper. I believe Zach Brown can do it. He often talks about it. Um, yeah. But it's something very powerful in that sense. Yes. Uh, so there are many uh, security focused tooling company with their prover. Uh, they have some very big names uh, that uh, comes and want some formal verification on their, their project. And uh, that's an, an extra, not an extra layer of security because we actually say that you should begin right at the beginning, right when you're specifying because you're actually writing specifications and uh, determining the invariance of the system. So uh, we actually like it when uh, the project knows how to use the prover, and then we come and we audit their formal verification suit. Um, so basically, the, there are projects that are coming to Certora, and instead of just going to an auditing company, they work with Certora with the prover. So the project itself make the specs and the uh, invariants, and you guys, the researchers, help them to build the specs and also validate that the specs are good, if I'm not wrong. There are two kinds of teams, in fact. Um, there are the security engineers that are very, uh, that are the experts on the tool and on understanding the project and being on what should be happening and what are really the specification you should be writing. Because when you write what should happen, the prover itself finds some ways to break that. And uh, that's all the power of it to find bugs this way. But uh, us, I mean, the team I, uh, I joined uh, is the team of the security researchers. So there's security engineers and security researchers. We work actually hand in hand. And I really like it because sometimes they have some insights or they see some behaviors. And I'm more security focused to, to break things. They are more security focused to understand and write what should happen. See, so two different mindsets. Mm -hmm. um, so you're in we, the team that breaks things or what yeah. should happen? The breaks, the breaks. I, I, I break things. Also with the prover, right. I can oversimplify and write some things and see that it's broken. I use it a little bit differently. And I also can then, you know, find a bug and write something on the prover and prevent uh, any future updates from having the bug. You see, it's also the, that's also the main point because when you are updating your project, 
the rules and specifications should hold. Uh, so it will tell you if there's a new hole, a new path to, to taint the, the project. So this is how it works. And really having those two type of teams, uh, it was very, very interesting. And some of them on the security engineers are yeah, very security focused and uh, impressive too. So um, yeah, really liked it. I, I think it's a little bit different compared to people all trying to break the code and bend it because you've actually got one team focused on really uh, uh, writing specifications on what should happen, what are the important properties, what really shouldn't break. Uh, so you get that insight uh, on having them been focused on it. That's very, very interesting. That's very interesting. And I do believe I'm a big believer in formal verification and I mm. uh, respect very much what Sertor does. They're very known in the field and a lot of talented people work there, including yourself. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, lots of unknown figures that are very talented too. But 